Moraine Lake, Alberta's poster child. An icon. It's used in marketing material around the world to draw people to this region. But now, things have changed. It's somewhere I've enjoyed photographing and visiting multiple times over the years. And in fact, some of my favorite images and my best-selling prints were actually taken on the shorefront of that famous lake. But now the road is closed. Well, closed to personal vehicles. And this has a huge sweeping effect on photographers, hikers, and mountaineers. I wanted to talk about this subject because I feel like it's something that's important to me and probably important to a lot of you guys as well. And it will affect how you visit this lake in 2023. So now the road is closed. What does this mean for hikers or mountaineers that want to do longer objectives? And is this the end to sunrise photography at Moraine Lake? Parks Canada recently announced that the Moraine Lake Road will be closed indefinitely to personal vehicles. This means that from summer 2023, you will not be able to drive your own personal vehicle down to the lakefront car park. The lake and parking area have long suffered from overcrowding, and it really is just a victim of its own success. Closed roads and overflowing parking meant that visitors would often miss out entirely and just not be able to get down the road. Last summer, the road was manned 24 hours a day with people regularly camping overnight to get there hours before sunrise. So something had to be done, but what are your options now? For the general visitor, there are multiple great options still. Firstly, the Parks Canada shuttle system. I've been an advocate for this system for the last couple of years. Driving your own personal vehicle to the lake was always a risk and didn't really guarantee you'd actually get in to see Moraine. So if just seeing the lake or doing a short daytime hike is your goal, this is by far one of your best options. You book it online, park at the Lake Louise Ski Resort and grab the shuttle from there into Lake Louise or into Moraine Lake itself as well. You're gonna guarantee you get to see the lake and it's gonna be stress-free. And at just $8 for an adult, I think that's actually pretty good value. I'm going to leave some links in the description below of how to book those. Secondly, Rome Transport. If you're staying in Banff or you don't have a car, the simplest way is to use the local Rome bus network. If you upgrade to a Rome Superpass, you can get the bus directly from Banff all the way to Lake Louise and from there connect to that Parks Canada Lake Connector Shuttle. Thirdly, private tours. Now, there are numerous private tours that go into Lake Moraine or Lake Louise. They go from just offering transport to having fully qualified guides on board. So great options for a stress-free trip, or if you wanna get a bit more out of your trip and learn a bit as you go. And again, I'll leave a few links below in the description if you wanna check some of those out. Lastly, cycling. The road is still open to cyclists, but you will have to contend with pretty heavy bus traffic and it's 15 kilometers each way with about 400 meters of elevation change. So it isn't an easy ride. And in all honesty, I'm not really sure how viable an option this is because parking your car somewhere in Lake Louise before your ride is gonna be near to impossible. The bad news is at the moment that those shuttles only run from 6.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. Meaning apart from maybe the very end of season, you're gonna to struggle to get there before the sun comes up if photography is your aim. So, will it be possible to photograph Moraine Lake at sunrise ever again? At this point, it's actually pretty hard to say. You can, of course, book accommodation at the Moraine Lake Lodge. But by all means, this isn't cheap. But it will get you the shorefront of Moraine Lake pretty much to yourself at any time of day you want it. So it could be worth it for some of you. You could cycle in early, a couple hours before the sun comes up. But again, without kind of already being based in Lake Louise, it's gonna be pretty difficult to park a car and then start your ride. So I really don't know how realistic an option that's gonna be for most people. There are also multiple great hikes in that area that offer great photography opportunities. One of the most notable and the most famous is probably the Larch Valley. This hike is incredibly popular with hikers and photographers alike, especially in September when those larch trees are turned to golden yellow. But sunrise images of golden larch trees reflecting in mirror-like lakes with frosty foregrounds might be something that's just too difficult to get now. Completing this hike at sunrise in September is something that I've been trying to do every single year. It, it's become a bit of a tradition. And to be honest, I'm actually gonna be pretty disappointed if this is something I now can't do. I'd normally start the hike at five in the morning 
to get up there an hour before sunrise to pick out a composition ready for the golden light. I know this news is gonna be a huge disappointment to anyone wanting to photograph that area or any hikers and mountaineers wanting to complete those longer objectives. But I do feel like something needed to be done. The reduced traffic should help maintain the region for future generations and also help the rejuvenation of local flora and fauna. But what does the future hold? There is huge scope for development and compromise in the current system put in place if Parks Canada are open to it. It has opened up multiple business opportunities. Hopefully smaller private tours will start up, maybe even some of those run by photographers that will provide transport into the lake at a more appropriate time for photography. And hopefully they'll be able to do that before the Parks Canada shuttles start running. It will just be a case of Parks Canada allowing it to happen. So fingers crossed, hopefully it won't be long until we can enjoy shooting at the lakefront, watching the sun rise over the Valley of the Ten Peaks as they reflect in the turquoise waters of Moraine Lake below. As soon as I can, I'll be making a couple of different videos about how to visit Moraine Lake in 2023 and to see if it is still possible to get there for sunrise for photography. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe and hopefully those videos will help you plan your own trip and your own photography here in the Canadian Rockies. If you have any questions or any opinions on this matter, then please do leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have.